cause their tails break. So we, you know, we don't necessarily, I mean, this one's pristine, but we don't always take a full, all the way to the tip of the tail is called the total length. Right there is called the standard length. Um, so I take both those measurements. And I usually take them once the fish is preserved, uh, but I, I want to take what this because, well, we want to know how big it is. Um, so this bad boy, she's looking somewhere on the order 385 millimeters, which is uh, total length. Um, which is about 15 and a half inches long. Um, and then Fish get their name um, as a group. They have a modified fin spine. So this is the spine coming off their dorsal fin, which is all the way back here, and it's modified um, up near the front of their head. And at the tip is a little bulb, and inside of this is bacteria that produces bioluminescence or that glows. And so the anglerfish can kind of move this around in front of its head with all these attachments that also have little glowing tips, and use this to kind of attract prey to its mouth. Um, folks may have seen Finding Nemo, this is portrayed in Finding Nemo, where Dory sees a very beautiful light, swims to it, it's a giant anglerfish, very scary, they almost get eaten. And so that's what happens, probably to small fish and invertebrates on a daily basis when they encounter these things. Last uh, Friday morning, uh, the lifeguards got a report that a weird fish was rolling around in the surf in, at Swami's up in Encinitas. They collected the fish and let some folks know, and it ended up here in the collection. So. What we have is one of a very large female specimen of a Pacific football fish. This is a fairly rare anglerfish that's only known from now 31 specimens that have been collected across the Pacific Ocean from Papua New Guinea and Japan all the way over to here in Ecuador. Um, and this is the third specimen that we have in the collection here at Scripps, including uh, a slightly larger one that washed up on Dog Beach in Del Mar in 2001. Kind of have to go around these little dermal spines, which also makes it kind of tough. Um, but as you can see, this the skin is actually very rubbery, and even this sharp scalpel is kind of having trouble getting through uh, through that. Um, so that probably helps protect them as well from parasites or something that contrast here. So you can see the vertebral column coming down here, and then almost all of the other bones in their body are just head related. <laughs> this is the lower jaw. Um, this is the support for the gill covering. This is the support supports for the pe pectoral fin, which is right here. Um, this is more support for the lower jaw. Um, so we can see from here, the fish doesn't really seem to have much by way of at least another fish in its stomach. Um, if there's usually if there's another fish, we'd see like a little vertebral column of that fish in here. Um, but what it does have is these two huge masses. I'm not quite sure um, if these are just. Uh, like very dense organ.